Good morning to all of you. Hope you can hear me and uh, see my screen. Uh, can I get a feedback? Uh, do you hear me well? Yes, sir. we can hear and the uh, screen also is here. Thank you, Samir. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so, a uh, quick summary of what we discussed last time. Uh, we were discussing the different types of meditation, three types. Uh, what were the names? Uh, we identified there are meditations uh, which lead to uh, mindfulness, we call sati uh, in Sinhala. Then uh, there are meditations uh, that uh, give us concentration, known as samadhi. And there are meditations uh, that give us wisdom, uh, known as pragna. So three categories, out of which uh, we discussed a uh, basic type last time, uh, metta meditation. Uh, and also we discussed one more, uh, that was uh, scanning the body, uh, which, which is known as the body scan meditation. Uh, those two we did last time. Of course, the body scan meditation is a type of meditation which belongs to uh, mindfulness. Uh, we will be doing that today as well. And the metta meditation uh, belongs to the category of uh, the concentration meditations, which can lead the mind to concentration, samadhi, and also lead the mind to uh, absorption states known as dhyana. So, uh, metta meditation has different ways of doing. So, today's plan is uh, we will uh, start uh, with the metta meditation again. This time, uh, I will introduce uh, a different method of uh, doing metta meditation. Uh, since you have the recording of the previous method, uh, this will be uh, just another way of doing uh, metta meditation. And uh, after that, uh, we will be switching to mindfulness meditations, uh, Sati Bhavana. Uh, but before that, we will be having the quiz as I posted yesterday. Uh, I sent the message to you uh, from 8.55 to 9.05. Uh, we will be having 10 minutes uh, short quiz on what we did last time. And uh, well, some of you have posted uh, questions uh, in the forum, uh, which I answered. Uh, and uh, I have seen that six of you have uh, written the journal as well. Uh, others, you have time till tonight, uh, 12 p.m. tonight, to complete the last week uh, meditation journal. OK, so before we uh, go further, uh, today we will be having a trial session of uh, monitoring uh, the practical part. Uh, what we are going to do is, uh, while we do the metta meditation in the new way, uh, you can switch on your uh, camera to show the face. Today only the face, uh, because it's a trial run. So we will monitor uh, monitor the meditation and uh, we might be able to give you a feedback as well. Uh, but from next week, uh, we will arrange to monitor uh, not only the face, uh, but the body posture as well. So um, if you think that the face is not ready right now, maybe uh, take a quick break one minute and uh, be sure that uh, you can switch on your video to show the facial expressions. And uh, so we have Dr. Samiru Gayan with us. Uh, he will be uh, observing, the, observing the practical session uh, while I uh, do the verbal part. So that is the arrangement. 
for the first session. Okay, what is this new method? <clears throat> Before we go into that, uh, this slide I could not uh, finish last time. So I'm starting with that where we will discuss uh, what kind of benefits a person can get uh, by doing metta meditation or loving kindness meditation. Okay, uh, there are quite a lot. Uh, few important ones uh, are here. First one is uh, comfortable sleep uh, and awaking that you can uh, experience yourself while once you do, uh, once you practice metta meditation for uh, some time, at least a month. After that, you can uh, see these effects. Right? No evil dreams. Uh, countenance, uh, which means your facial expression becomes serene. I think you like that, right? Uh, mind can concentrate more quickly. Uh, here the concentration means samadhi. Uh, less confusion in the mind and the thoughts. Uh, the mind and the thought process uh, tend to get little organized uh, progressively. Then uh, you become dear uh, to other, dear means friendly to other living beings. Uh, maybe you are already friendly, but uh, you can be more friendly than uh, what you are now. Other living beings uh, become dear to you uh, that also you can notice uh, progressively as you continue with this meditation. So those are some of the benefits. One analogy is that uh, the mind uh, is similar to uh, a white cloth and it may be discolored by uh, alien, anger, hatred, fear, uh, sorrow, that kind of resentment kind of uh, feelings, which we identified last time as aversive feelings. Uh, those are not natural to the mind. Those are actually uh, introduced externally. Uh, through the metta meditation, uh, the mind can be cleaned. Cleaned, uh, and that can be done from time to time, like what we do with our clothes. Right? From time to time, we need to wash them and make them clean again. Same way, the aversive uh, mental formations can be cleaned from time to time. If you practice to do it regularly, uh, the cleanliness of the mind can be maintained. Uh, there is another analogy uh, which says, a mind uh, filled with loving kindness, which means uh, you have practiced enough uh, for a period of time. Uh, it's that mind uh, becomes uh, so full of loving kindness that it is difficult to disturb it and introduce hate, uh, hatred or uh, anger or fear or sorrow, uh, trying to do that. Trying to introduce such things to the mind is like painting uh, the sky. Painting the sky. You try to paint the sky, but the sky will not retain any color. Same way, uh, although there are external disturbances which try to uh, provoke aversive uh, mental formations, uh, it will not happen. Uh, the mind will not agree. So that kind of uh, mind uh, will prevail with sufficient practice. So two analogies, two similes. Uh, just remember, one is this cloth, uh, other is uh, the mind becomes like open sky where no color can be painted. Now, uh, I mentioned that there are different ways of doing loving kindness. Uh, one method we did last time uh, which is this first one, first one, which is expansion of the uh, number of living beings, uh, 
by using the area or region. We encompassed more and more living beings by uh, progressive expansion of the geographical region, uh, which is addressed by our mental image. Okay. Since we did that last time and you have the recording, uh, we will do the second method, expansion by direction. Uh, there is a third method, expansion by uh, the category of living beings. So I'll quickly introduce these two, but we will uh, do only the second type. Right? In the uh, direction method, uh, we extend, first, first the loving kindness will be uh, uh, inculcated uh, here. Uh, it is loving kindness for you. After that, after that uh, you uh, consider different directions from where you are, right? front direction, right hand side direction, behind, left hand side direction, then above, uh, above you and below you, six direction method. Or oh, there is 10 direction method where the uh, direction facing, your, uh, facing you, just front direction is uh, nominated as north, then the northeast, then the right hand side is considered as east, then southeast, the behind is considered as south. Likewise, eight directions in the horizontal plane, and then uh, upward direction and downward direction, making it altogether 10 directions. Okay, uh, so today uh, as trial, we will do it uh, by the second method. Uh, in the third method, if I add a word about it quickly, there you uh, categorize living beings like humans, animals, uh, etc., all different living beings uh, in parallel planes of existence. You consider uh, by category. Or you can categorize living beings with, uh, say, no legs, two legs, four legs, more than four legs, uh, visible living beings, invisible living beings, large ones, and small living beings, likewise. Keep addressing various uh, by using different uh, parameters uh, until, until you encompass all living beings, you keep expanding these categories. So what you will notice in these three methods is, uh, is that uh, although they seem to have different approaches in uh, trying, to, uh, trying to encompass the living beings, at the end, Towards the end, uh, all living beings should be uh, included. So finally, all the living beings should be included uh, for your loving kindness, whichever uh, method you chose here. Right? Okay, so let us uh, now do this uh, metta meditation for uh, say 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, as I suggested, I'll give you one minute from now, get ready, uh, switch on your videos uh, while the meditation is going on uh, so that uh, only the facial expression can be seen today. Okay. So one minute break for you to get ready.
Okay, in the chat, I have a question. Uh, can we uh, keep a virtual background in the Zoom with the video? Yes, it's okay for today. Uh, you can use a virtual background. Hope you are ready. Uh, one more thing which I forgot. Uh, please change your Zoom name uh, to student numbers if possible. Since uh, some marks will be given but will not be counted for any final exams, this is only for feedback today. Can we quickly change uh, the name in such a way that the student number is there? Oh, it seems that the option is turned off, uh, but I can see some of you have changed already. <laughs> 